Hi, this video shows how to show uh, user files in an Angular, Angular project where the files are out uh, of the project folder. So what you see here is my images with a user-defined path <coughs> in Angular. You see this one front slash my files or whatever it is, which path you want uh, or without front slash. And I defined this one in my uh, in my HTML file in uh, my project. So I said my image, and from there I want only see my my images uh, with this relative path, and in, uh, behind that uh, my image. So the reason therefore is that we are separating the code files from our project. So in this case. I have here my project web app code doku and I have a front end in Angular and I have a web API in uh, written in uh, ASP.NET Core and I don't want to mix those files because front end and the code is always separated from the real value. The real value is your files yes, and also the database. So I pushed a folder out to the let's say project folder or somewhere else in your uh, uh, system and to reach from your uh, from my uh, angular project this is my angular project you see this one uh, it's the same in here that's my project and here that's my project you see those files the app the source and then the app and inside the app we have um, where is it we have here the assets and normally all assets are shown in here when you say you have the fev icon then it's in here and all those images all that stuff is there and you don't have to do anything it's uh, it's like the ww root folder it's always there if you want to move out of that then you have to go to your angular angular file in here that's uh, in here you see the angular file angular out of <coughs> that's a project file where the, the machine builds the, the configuration by the all parameters <coughs> you see that's schema is in json project name and so on and there's a root folder is source that's this one and inside there you have the assets folder the assets are images images files whatever you want <clears throat> and there it's defined that's the source fev icon that's uh, the the icon which is shown in the left corner is always there then in assets that's a default path for all images you simply have to say image one and then comes additional relative path which says in glob you say uh, global um, which files file types are going there this is the star or wildcard wildcard uh, star star um, dot star is for all files and normally it's only one star but in angular they ha you have to write two stars so this means for all file types so mm -hmm. it's for image for jpeg for json whatever you want to have there and then you say <clears throat> my input path let's i would always start with my output path i want everything from the relative path which is called my files that's this one my files i want to say these are my files and then i have a file in here that's the output in here front slash front slash at the beginning and at the end so this works like this at the beginning and at the end and <clears throat> i want that this relative path uh, takes the takes the input takes this as a source a folder uh, which is relative to my project so we're moving up one folder up one folder from my project here up one is on there and one up 
So up is on there and one up is on this one, up, up, and then from up, up, and then from there user files in inside user files, I will find all my files. So here is a front slash, here is a front slash, here is no front slash, it moving up, moving up, then comes the path and no ending point, no ending front slash. That's the miracle behind. And as you see, uh, when, whenever you do this settings, uh, stop your project, control C. That's my project, my Angular project. You stop the, the running machine by control C. Then, and then go ng serve O again. Then the machine starts. It's compiling that stuff and it also takes the values from your Angular to JSON. And then it's running and you see it's opening that file and behind there, there is my file. I've written it in here. This is my file. One is starting with the front slash, one the, uh, without front slash. Both are working. And you find the code here, if you're not sure, you find the code below behind that uh, video and the link uh, and inside there simply take this one as a template and then it will work in your application.